everyone, this is Shishi coming on to make a tutorial on how I made this pretty card. Um, actually, it's just the embellishment on the card that I'm going to share in this video. Now, this is a heart rosette, and I'm using the snowflake border that I picked up from KS Craft, this store right here and I'll link it in the description box below. Now I have made heart rosettes on my channel before, but this has a different type of edge and I wanted to share how I made the snowflake heart rosette. So I'm going to give you the instructions um, because this shape is a little different and it's shorter than six inches. But we will still come up with that result. Um, this is the traditional way how it cuts out in case you wanted to see what the border looks like. Um, this is a card I made the other day. So I'm going to get started here. Now to make this easier, you want to get some scrapbook paper that's really thin. So thin uh, scrapbook paper. If you get cardstock, it's kind of hard to manage because uh, you'll probably need a shim or something. This border die is very intricate and even to use a shim, it's really hard to cut through. So I highly recommend scrapbook paper. Okay, so like my other videos, um, you'll need to fold it in half. Now, the width of this paper is two inches wide because of how long um, the snowflakes are at the top of this border. And you'll need a lot of room for that. So that's what I am working with today. So 12 inches long, two inches wide for the strip. We're going to fold it in half. You're going to need some washi tape. So I have my washi tape here to tape the die down. So I'm going to uh, tear off a piece. You'll need about two pieces for the front and the back of the die. Now, the side that you want from this die for the fold. So here is the fold. Okay, you'll want the top of the heel. So here is the die like this. You'll want this part to go where the fold is. And you'll need to kind of get it not on the edge, but sort of like near the edge because we're going to cut somewhat right here so there's more of a dip where that um, the V part of the heart is because of this die is not as long as six inches so that's where we're going to place this die so we can get that look of a heart so I'm going to tape it just like that on the paper okay so tape it down as you can see so you see here's just like a maybe a pinky part of room between the fold and the, the top part of this die when you're holding it down okay and then I'm going to tape the other portion and then I'm going to run this on my plate and cut both I'm going to run this through and cut um, this uh, in my machine so this will cut through both layers You'll need a scoring board and your stylus to score. Now, someone asked, uh, should you score first? It's really up to you, but um, 
I don't because if you run it through and then your score marks will get flattened again it's it's something I've had experience with in the past so that's why I don't score first because then you'll have to rescore after you run it through your machine so that's why I don't you just never know what happens with certain papers all right so I'm going to peel the washi tape off and then I'll share with you what I do next okay you'll also need an embellishment for the center you can use a snowflake if you want I do have snowflake embellishments but I used hearts I love hearts okay so it cut through beautifully as you can see so you'll need to cut the little part at the end and at the beginning so this is the end as you can see where it opens up so we'll leave that together so that we'll get a nice clean cut so you just want to snip it in like this so it looks like you have a little whale tail okay can you see that right there like a little fish tail so that's where you want to snip it like that now then over here you still have it joined so what we want to do is cut it at an angle so that there is a nice little V so when you open it up it has that V like this hopefully you can see that and you wouldn't get that look if you put it on the edge it wouldn't give you that really deep V look it would give you sort of a V and then it still wouldn't look like a heart so that's why I gave you that and if you don't feel like it's enough you can give it more of a cut I cut a little bit more and look at it so it's really up to you how much you want to cut into it so but that's um, it's your preference how much of a V you want but that's good like that and it's all connected all right so I'm done with my die cutting machine and this border so I'm going to put that aside now we're going to use the scoring board and we're going to open this up you're going to need your hot glue gun and I did find my uh, McGill tool set I'm going to try it out and see how well it scores I mean the other tool that comes with the scores nicely so um, I'm sure this one will score nice as well so you're going to score every quarter of an inch all the way down to the 12 inch um, mark actually the 11 and a half inch mark you don't score the 12 inch because that's the end so I'm just going to give this a score and just hold your paper and then uh, sometimes it'll slide I think I was on three now you don't have to, to uh, score the snowflake portion it will fold on its own when you're starting the folds after you're done scoring
think every season should have hearts, so why not winter or Christmas time? I think these make really cute embellishments. Okay, we're at the 11 and a half inch mark and we're done. So now we'll just start folding back and forth. And I, I can actually take this board away. And this should go by really fast because this paper is thin and it should fold very easily. When you have the thicker cardstock, it's so hard to fold. And you should get some really crisp folds. And I, I'll probably show you my um, embellishments. I have some snowflakes that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And we'll decide if it should be the snowflakes in the middle or more hearts. Uh, it's, it's really your choice, which you want to glue in the middle to cover up the hole that you will have once it's glued together. All right, so it's all folded. This is how it looks once it is all done. I'm going to get my Tim Holtz nonstick mat. And I have a pair of small scissors that I usually cut off one end and then you may need to snip a point to make it look more of a rosette and then we'll glue, glue these two ends together it's really up to you so let's do that here make that really even Okay, so when you glue this on, you want to go up at the top and then we'll snip off this little bottom piece right here and then that'll make more of a point. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of glue. Let's give this a little bit of glue here. stick wasn't ready but we'll glue that right at the top press that down and then we will Actually, I'm going to do this over. Go it the other way. I didn't have enough glue on there. Alright. Glue this at the top. Right in here. Like that. 
and then we're going to snip this bottom portion once we put the rosette together okay so now we just need a little bit of glue in the middle going to hold everything together and wait for the glue to dry hopefully you can see that let's take a little bit of time for the glue to dry a few seconds this is low temperature hot glue so it's not that hot Okay, so it's formed the little heart shape. And then I just need to snip off this bottom point so that it looks more like a heart. I'm just going to peel this off my nonstick mat. stuck on there okay okay there is a bottom part these two pieces right here I'll show you my original card um, these two pieces down here I snipped off this one and this one I'll look I'll show you up close now if you don't want this on here you can snip them off you don't like it um, so this is how mine looks with them clipped off so I'm going to snip them off and clean up the the snowflakes at the bottom if you want to leave them on it's up to you okay I found my snowflake embellishments and I don't uh, think this would look as nice as the hearts <laughs> so I'm going to go with the hearts and glue that on so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there just a little bit is all you need and stick that down okay so I think that looks a whole lot better. So I hope you will give this a try in case you bought this uh, border. There's just another use in making rosettes, snowflake ones, and you can make a Christmas card if you love hearts. So this is my idea for the card. So you can use it like this or use it like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you are inspired to make some embellishments and you'll give this a try. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you're interested in getting this uh, border, I'll link it in the description box below. Take care and have a fabulous day.